Hey everyone, welcome back to this Tosca Automation playlist. And we are going to continue talking about different string operations which are present in Tosca. Now we have spoken about some of the operations uh, where uh, we did a string replace. Uh, we used the trim function to basically remove all the white space characters and we used the string replace to basically replace some part of the string with some other uh, pattern or string, right? We have also seen how we can use the base 64 string operation to encode and decode our strings. And now we are going to talk about the remaining four string operations. And these are the string to lower, string to upper, number of occurrences, and string length. Now, by the name, you can think uh, what a string length will do. It will basically uh, provide you the length of the string, right? So it will count the number of characters and it will return you the length. The number of occurrences, uh, this is a useful uh, operation where you want to count all the occurrences of a defined input or pattern within a particular string, okay? Then string to upper, uh, it converts the lowercase characters to uppercase and string to lower, it converts the uppercase to lowercase. Now this might seem very similar to you if you have worked on any programming language like Java you can perform all of these operations uh, directly in Java, right? But here, uh, Tosca has already given you uh, different expressions which, through which you can perform the string operations. This could be useful, uh, especially uh, when you are working in automation and you have to maybe format or uh, change particular strings, then you can use these different operations to carry out those uh, particular automation, okay? So let's quickly see um, how you can do this, okay? Um, so we will, remaining uh, string operations, we will uh, do it here. So string operations, okay? For this, I am going to use first a tbox set buffer. And here I'm going to create a buffer called str. And this will contain something like Tricentis Tosca. Okay. Now, what we can do is uh, we can now have another buffer, okay, where um, we will return the length of the string. So here I'm going to use the buffer of str. Uh, actually we need to first use the string operation so we will use string length and inside that we will use the buffer okay okay so I will close this okay so this will return me the string length okay and we'll store it in a buffer called length now, if I want my string uh, to be converted into uppercase, so let's create a buffer here called uppercase. And here again, the same way. Uh, first, we will do the string operation. So type string to upper. Inside this, we will then use the buffer. So we will use the buffer str. Close the brackets, okay? And again, for lowercase, it's the same. So lowercase, I am going to just copy this just to make it a little faster. So I'm going to make it string to lower. And then the final one, which is number of occurrences, right? So I'm going to name it number. And this time around, we will be using um, not string, but number of occurrences you can see here. Inside this, now we will give uh, the actual string. So which is B of str, the buffer. And then close this, okay. Um, also, uh, we need to pass the string, okay, uh, for which we want the number of occurrences. 
or the pattern okay so these uh, will be your characters so which characters do you want to uh, find the number of occurrences uh, let's say i want to find the number of occurrences for um, t okay so that's the character i want to find the number of occurrences for um, and then we can close this okay so here um, in the pattern okay uh, it can be one character it can be multiple characters if you want to find the complete tricentis uh, that also you can do okay so uh, it is very useful to find the number of occurrences of any particular pattern or character okay so let's quickly go ahead and run this and see if it is uh, working as expected okay so if i go into the logs now uh, i should be able to see my results so you can see the length is 15 characters uh, it has uh, converted into uppercase then it has converted into lowercase and then uh, the buffer is set to one uh, which is actually correct now you will ask me um, there are multiple t but if you look at it okay so there are uppercase t and there is one lowercase t and that is what it has returned us now if you want all the t's no matter if it is uppercase or lowercase then you need to pass an optional parameter okay so here uh, after uh, the pattern you also need to pass whether you want uh, to ignore the case while finding the number of occurrences so that you can do using this ignore case parameter so this is an optional parameter which i did not give it first time okay but now i am providing it so now the value should be three instead of just one okay so let's go ahead and run this and if i check the number is three now okay so no matter if it is uppercase or lowercase it is going to find the number of occurrences so this way you can use all of these different operations uh, which are related to string um, so you can use them at different places of your automation whenever you are trying to extract some value from the application or you're trying to compare some uh, expected versus actual results or you are trying to modify your strings right so there are lots of operations uh, which are required when you are automating a particular application and this could be uh, very useful although it is very simple you should be able to use them uh, within tosca so that's all about uh, string operations uh, i hope you liked it and you learned something new today uh, if you like our videos then do subscribe to our channel uh, we would be coming up with lots more videos so until we speak again, keep learning and keep watching our channel.